Hey fellow YouTubers, JJ the Trucker coming to you again from Central Texas. Um, I'm recording this immediately after the, the previous video. Uh, I just didn't want that video to get too long because I get I do get some feedback <laughs> on those really long videos, so I am trying to keep them you know reasonable for y'all. Um, you know, and it had been such a long time, so much has happened that I decided to split it in two. And of course I had to leave you guys with a cliffhanger. So if you haven't seen the previous video and you don't know what I'm talking about, stop right now. Stop! And uh, go back and watch the, the, the previous video that came out yesterday. Um, and then come back to this one. It's going to be another one you can just listen to. Don't have to watch it unless you just love staring at this thing all day. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, so... As you all see from the, uh, the you know, previously on JJ the Trucker, uh, I got a phone call from the nursing facility and they say, we regret to inform you that, okay, so they didn't really put it that way, but they just said, well, so this morning your, uh, your grandmother um, had the sniffles. Like, okay, well, she's got allergies just like I do. Like, you know, she always carries a box of Kleenex. And so I'm like, okay, pretty normal. And they said, well, so because we are really watching everything like a hawk right now, we took her temperature and she was displaying a mild fever. I'm like, uh-oh. And they said, so we went ahead and had her tested and she tested positive for the Rona. She's now in quarantine in the red zone. Not the yellow zone, not the green zone where she was, but in the red zone. Great. And I had just been exposed because I ate lunch to her face to face just yesterday or a day before that. Not yesterday, but you know, day before that. Like, wonderful. So, great. It's my second visit in a row out there where, you know, I, I well, the previous visit, I started visiting and then I, I felt bad. I, I, didn't, I felt like I might have the run. I definitely had something going on with the sinuses. Um, turned out I didn't have the Rona, it was just sinusitis, um, so not a big deal, but I didn't want to take that chance, so I had to cut my visit short with, uh, with Grandma, and now this has happened too. Now she's in lockdown. Hold on, gotta get over again. Alright, so now she's in lockdown, no visitors, nothing. Okay, so now not only no visitors, now it's like, well, I've been exposed. Am, am I positive? Am I not positive? I felt fine. Um, and again, have my, I've, I've been vaccinated and all that stuff, so wasn't too worried. Um, I did go ahead and, uh, and get tested. There were no rapid tests anywhere to be found anymore, and I still haven't been able to find any. Um, so I, I went through, uh, I had to... I had to take a lift through one of those drive-throughs and and back, and that uh, that wasn't that wasn't cheap. Um, and then wait for the results on that, and uh, of course I was negative. So thank goodness for that. Uh, so yeah, another visit cut short, and Grandma's got COVID. So great. Now what? So of course I'm really worried. She. Um, she just turned 89. Uh, she's not in the best of health already. And she got corona. So, hold on, I gotta get over again. So, fortunately, if you can say this, um, it's the Omicron variant, um, which is very contagious, but it's very weak. Uh, they're still saying, don't go try and get it, but I mean, if you've got, you know, if you've got serious FOMO when it comes to the Rona, uh, FOMO, fear of missing out for all you non-millennials out there. Um, I only know that because I've got, you know, millennials in the family. Uh, so if you've got that FOMO of the Rona, then they say this is the one to get. But they're, you know, the, the people who know better, uh, they're saying, no, don't chance it, don't do it. <clears throat> so anyway... She ended up recovering uh, pretty quickly um, from the, the sinus portion of it and the fever, uh, like a day and a half. It only lasted a day and a half and she was fine. They still had to quarantine her for 
10 straight days. <clears throat> uh, that's the California Department of Health's mandate. So 10 straight days she was in there. And while she was in there, uh, in that quarantine, we don't know if it's Rona related or something else related, but she has kind of declined a, a little bit in some other areas. Um, they've been running some tests. I've been having to talk with the doctors and the nurses and really pushing them to get more tests and get these test results back and deal with them. And yeah, that's been very time consuming too, <clears throat> trying to find out what's been going on because she was, I mean, not in the best of health going into it, but you know, since going over to the red zone and then back, uh, she, she's definitely shown some decline in some areas and I'm really concerned. Um, so anyways, that's what's going on with that. And, and that's taken up a lot of my time and, and energy, but <clears throat> I did hit the road. Um, I needed to hit the road and go to a cabs class. Cabs class is basically, um, a class that, that Landstar mandates you take after uh, 120 days uh, being at Landstar. So it's a one day class. They pay you, you know, like 250 for it. Not bad. Um, and it's at one of their centers, but not the center that I came out of, you know, which was Mesa, Arizona. So I couldn't go to that center. Um, I had to go to one any of the other centers. Um, so let's see, where am I gonna go? Where am I gonna go, go, go? <laughs> Um, ended up uh, going to uh, Atlanta, uh, one out just outside of Atlanta, because Atlanta is easy to get to, right? <laughs> Every everything goes to Atlanta, so I found a really good load, headed out there, took the cabs class, <clears throat> ran into a fellow YouTuber uh, or a follower, a subscriber, uh, Don, right on Don. Uh, we had a lot of great conversations, man. He he also came from Prime uh, to Landstar. He's just kicking butt, man. He is kicking some butt. You know, they give us what our revenue has been and all that stuff. Dude is just, he's a beast. He is a beast. I'm very picky when, with what I want to run and stuff because I don't have to make all that money. Um, I, I got the easy life. Um, but this guy has just been running. He's, he's found some good stuff and, and uh, got some good advice and good info from him. Uh, but yeah, he's just been killing it. So good job, man. Um, so, yeah, I've been uh, talking with him. That's, it's, that's been good. It's helped me out a bit. So, uh, Cab's class was pretty good. Uh, you know, productive. I, I learned a few, uh, a few new things, which was good. Um, <clears throat> things that may uh, still end up helping me here at Landstar. And after that, um, grabbed a load out of Tennessee um, near Knoxville area. And of course, that's when the snowstorm's hitting. Not the storm, not the snowstorm that's hitting right now up there. There is a snowstorm right now in Tennessee and heading all the way down to, to Atlanta. They say um, so. Not that one, but the previous one, just last week, <clears throat> a week and a half ago or whatever. So yeah, I had to, to deal with that. So I got get loaded in Tennessee and and heading to Oklahoma City. And uh, yeah, dealt with the, the snowstorm, which you all know I'm trying to stay south this winter to avoid all that stuff, but nope, couldn't do it. Is what it is. Um, but it was still, it was a good run, a uh, good pan run, nice, easy. And as I'm making the delivery, uh, the agent calls and says, hey, um, if you enjoyed this delivery, you know, that this run, um, I've got a backhaul load that goes you know, back to where uh, where I came from. And he says, got a few drivers that do it pretty regularly, just back and forth, back and forth. And he's going over the numbers with me and, and all that stuff. And I'm like, man, that actually sounds really good. You know, um, it's not contracted, so I can, you know, start and stop it whenever I, whenever I want, uh, which is good because I've got, you know, a vacation coming up here. Uh, plus, every once in a while, I want to go out to Cali. So... I'm like, yeah, you know what? That sounds like a great idea. Um, I've got one more load that's already booked. Um, heading up to Springfield, Missouri, because uh, I got to get some truck maintenance done. Uh, which, by the way, I had to get my 150,000 miles on Bev right here. My baby's got 150,000 miles. Yep. Uh, so I need to get an overhead done, um, P, uh, you know, chassis lube, general, and some other general stuff. Um, so I was going to head up to uh, Peterbilt up there because 
um, if you're if you if you're with okay, I'll just say I'll put it this way: if you're with Prime, okay, you're an owner op at Prime and have a Peterbilt. Um, that they, they get it from the Larson Group Peterbilt right out there and they will hook you up with a free your first free overhead which is at 150,000 miles um, that's a good deal that's a few hundred dollars like five to eight hundred dollars or something like that uh, that you're saving so yeah I'll, I'll take that no problem right so I get up to spring uh, so first of all I figure okay I'll, I'll take this load which is a drop and hook um, I'll go up to Springfield, get my stuff done, and then I will deadhead back down to start taking this load because it, it it's worth it. So I pick up that load uh, in uh, south of Oklahoma City. And it's a drop and hook, as I mentioned, and I hooked to literally the worst trailer I have ever hooked to in my life. This thing, this trailer was so old. You know, I know people that have that have been born since this trailer you know was was put into service the wheels were all rusty it had zero aerodynamics um it wobbled down the road you know um it was just you know the the, the tandems wasn't a, an air slide tandem system it was uh the lever you have to pull the lever and all that stuff it's like are you kidding me i and and heading up to springfield my fuel mileage dropped by by a mile and a half a gallon I'm like, there's no way I'm taking this on a regular run back and forth. I've got to get another drop and hook. <clears throat> of course, I'm sitting there at Springfield after two days of waiting um, to, to get to get the truck in. Uh, they, I, I call for status. I'm like, so I just want to see where I'm at on the list. They're like, yeah, well, we had gotten slammed right when you were coming in. Um, and so we are about five to seven days out. I'm like, what? Okay. <laughs> not worth the free overhead at that point. Not if I'm going to lose an entire week's worth of revenue. Forget that. I mean, the overhead is about a day and a half worth of worth of net revenue. So, um, or if even that. So, yeah, no, no, no. Just, just no. <laughs> um, unfortunately, it wasn't just that Peterbilt. I called around to a lot of different Peterbilts and checked with them. Even my buddies up in Boise. Everybody's slammed right now. Um, combination of the holidays, parts shortages, um, you know, beginning of the year, uh, people out with the Rona, uh, you know, mechanics that are out, uh, out sick. So just a combination of factors just got everybody behind. I'm like, oh man, what am I gonna do? So I ended up grabbing a load. Um, and found one. I was desperate for this drop and hook, by the way, but I, I couldn't stay a week. So, desperate for a drop and hook, I grabbed a load <clears throat> coming out of Jonesboro, Arkansas, which is about a four and a half hour deadhead okay, on this terrible trailer. Um, and it's delivering to Florida. How desperate am I for that? Oh, <clears throat> not only that, it's using an agent. That I just mm -hmm, they're on my do not use list um, but they're primarily there's a few reasons that are on my do not use list they're one of those um, um, I won't say the name of them but it's you know uh, starts with the not the code they've got tons of codes like 75 different codes uh, agent codes that they use and uh, it's you know something with the G involved in it not in the codes but you know, if you're if you're a BCO, you know you probably know who I'm talking about, um, which agency I'm talking about. But this one, um, whereas mostly uh, the, these, this agency pretty much does indirect freight, this at least was a direct ship. <clears throat> it's like okay, and I had heard that this particular run wasn't too bad. I'm like, all right, I'll give it a try. I'm desperate. <laughs> I'm desperate. I need I need to get rid of this trailer, man. So. I go down there, I do the drop and hook, <clears throat> I drop this crappy trailer, I'm like, bye bye, see you later. And I back into the uh, to the uh, to the next trailer and it is literally the worst trailer I have ever picked up in my life. Yes, it was worse than the previous trailer. I don't even know if this thing would have passed inspection. It was it was almost the same look as the, the trailer I had just dropped. Same year. Um, 
it had some additional issues with it. Definitely had some bad tire wear. Um, I'm like, I just can't win for losing right now. Are you kidding me with this? <sighs> now I'm going to have to do another drop and hook. So I get to Orlando, delivery was fine. <clears throat> um, so I get, uh, so I'm there, I'm like, I'm looking for another load. I'm like, now I'm trying to find a direct ship, drop and hook, coming out of Orlando, out of Florida, which, challenging, that pays decently. You know what? I just removed the pay qualification from it. I'm like, just give me something. <sighs> I got lucky, again. Found a good load, <clears throat> um, another drop and hook. Uh, only about an hour and a half worth of deadhead and going um, it was a, a pretty decent rate and a decent amount of a good amount of mileage too um, it's the load I'm on right now so I'm like okay let's let's I, I can't get three bad trailers in a row <laughs> that's just there's no way so I go and I do the drop and hook and I connected to the third worst trailer I've ever connected to. Uh, it's it's not as bad as the previous two, but it's still bad. Uh, it's not as old. It doesn't look as bad, but it still has no aerodynamics whatsoever. Very uneven tire wear and chunks missing from some of the, the treads on the tires, um, which means it's got a bad alignment. And sure enough, Oh, hold on, got to get over again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be one of them slow passes. Um, <clears throat> yeah, sure enough, I mean, I'm looking out my, my mirror here, and it's it's listing. <laughs> I mean, it's like, I got I to gotta kind of hug the yellow line right now to keep the, the trailer inside the, the line on the other side. <clears throat> um, fuel mileage, 6.6 .6 miles per gallon. I'm normally at 8. 8 to 8.5. This is a kind of a heavier load. So on this load, on this run, I should be at about 8 to 8.2. Yeah. No, not happening. I'm like, I just, what in the world? <sighs> Am I ever going to get back to uh, Oklahoma or Tennessee to, to get that other load? I don't know. I don't know. So I'm telling you. It's got its challenges. Dealing with with grandma on the road, there's it's challenging. You know, everything's done over the phone. Um, trying to deal with you know getting these loads and, and getting home and getting dealing with these these trailers. <clears throat> it, it's challenging. It's still rewarding. My bank account is is you know is, is just smiling from ear to ear. Uh, these two, these just these two loads, one going into Florida and even coming out of Florida combined, are just amazing. It's just these two loads right here would equate to about two month or two weeks worth of, of loads at Prime, maybe even a little bit more. So, yeah, I'm. How can I be unhappy? It's challenging. I'm a little frustrated with the challenges sometimes, but. You know, the, the, the reward at the end is worth it. Um, so you just got to you, you gotta get used to it and, and deal with it and remember that reward and everything will be all right. So what's the plan from here? Well, being that it's Sunday, uh, tomorrow is a holiday Monday, Martin Luther King Day, um, which means some places are open, some places are closed. But my delivery is in the afternoon tomorrow. Um, so I haven't even looked for a load uh, out yet, and uh, I, I don't know. I don't, uh, I don't know where I'm going yet, um, but we'll see where it takes me. Uh, I'm definitely going to be looking for another drop and hook. <laughs> see how that fourth trailer goes. Um, but I tell you, I think at this point, if I get a good trailer, the next time I get a good trailer, I might just have to keep that one for a long time. I mean, a long time. But uh, the challenge again with that is, look, I'm already, I'm already limiting myself a lot, uh, which is why I generally don't mind dropping hooks. I'm limiting myself personally to the south for the winter. Um, I've dealt with those winters the last few years. Woo, I'm so sick of it. I need a year off. Um, so I'm limiting myself to south of the 37th parallel, which is that line that goes across the U.S. You, you see it if you look at a map. 
um, let's think Tennessee South, all right? Um, so I'm trying to stay below that, um, trying to do direct ships only, you know, direct shippers only instead of the uh, indirect shippers, which that was the advice from a lot of people, uh, a lot of BCOs, and it has generally helped. I've still had a couple of issues, but not as many. Um, so, you know, you, you put all that, you know, you put all those restrictions on there. Now, no dropping hooks. Well, that a lot of stuff, a lot of these direct shippers do dropping hooks. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. We'll play it by ear. Uh, but for right now, the main goal, main goal right now is to get this load delivered, uh, find me a next load, hopefully a good dropping hook, and go from there. All right, guys. Yeah, in 21 minutes, I've been rambling on for a while. Got to get back over here. So, thank you for your patience. I appreciate it. Thank you for your patience and uh, waiting for these next videos. Really appreciate that. And uh, for all of you guys who have been binge watching and catching up, um, man, I really appreciate that. Uh, again, sorry for that long delay. I needed it. And, um, you know, just be patient because there may be more delays like this. I uh, still have a lot of other stuff going on, but I'll be back. You know, I will be back. So don't give up on me. I won't give up on you guys. All right. Later, guys. Have a good one. Peace out.